thank you once again for watching me and enjoying me on Tia's Beauty Mark. And today I'm going to talk about that latest craze that I know you guys have been hearing a lot about. I know you've been hearing a lot about metallics and metals and different things like that. And also now what's becoming really, really popular is a uh, lipstick or lip gloss toppers. So we're going to talk about that today. So go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first lip gloss I have on right now is actually by uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. They are normal. They are sixteen dollars, and she came out with a whole line of new colors for the summer. This is Saint Tropez. I really, really like it. It has like uh, golds and uh, corals and pink. So when you really put it on, it takes on its own color. So let me go ahead and swatch that for you. I have it here. And this is really not one of the things I intended to talk about today, but because I had it on, I guess I said, well, let me just go ahead and show them and let them know what it looks like. But it is really, really a nice, nice summer uh, color. I know lately you've been hearing metallic, metallic, metallic. So I do have a few metallic lip products that I would like, as well as eyeshadow, that I would like to share with you guys. The, fair, the very first one I want to talk about is MAC. MAC came out with a whole line of metallic lipsticks. Well, the two colors I have for you, they do have them online, but I'm not for sure if they are in stores. But when I looked last night, they were online, okay? So here are, well, here is one of the colors. It is called Jupiter. And I'm just going to swatch it right here. And that's Jupiter. Now, really quick, this is by MAC. It's $17. Uh, Jupiter is described as a bronze neutral. So this is a very nice neutral. Now, I love MAC. I'm an avid MAC buyer. Uh, I love MAC lipsticks, have a ton of them. I don't know what's so metallic about these because to me, they look like a frost. The finish is like a frost. If you don't like frost, you're not gonna like these metallic uh, lipsticks by MAC. The next color I have is called Pale Rose. There's Pale Rose, and Pale Rose is this, uh, described as a cool, muted, neutral pink. And these are nothing really but a frost finish with just a little bit more glitter. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This is Pale Rose. This is, I mean, this is a uh, Rambling Rose. Rambling Rose is not considered a metallic. It is not on their metallic line at all. This is just a frost. But I want to show you what the finishes look like kind of side by side. To me, the finishes are pretty much the same. It's just like I said before, the metallic just has more glitter. All right, the next thing that I want to show you, I want to show you two products I got from Bite Beauty. That is called Prismatic Pearl Cream Lip Gloss. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Now, once again, they have a lot of glitter. They have a total of six shades, and these are two of the colors. I'm going to show you what those what they look like actually on my lips. The very first one that I'm going to show you, I've had this one the longest, and I'm telling you, I am loving it. It can take a matte lip to a whole nother level, okay? Really, really love these. So let me go ahead and put this on for you and I'll be right back. All right, here's the very first color. It is called Rose Pearl. Here it is right here swatched on my arm. Here it is in the actual uh, container. And it is by Bite Beauty and it costs $22. Now I've been wearing this, I wanna say about a month now, if not a month, at least three weeks. And let me tell you what I like about it, the smell, phenomenal it does not uh collect in the corners nor in the center of the mouth uh they it's 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 a different type of finish and it does have a lot of glitter to it and a lot of shimmer so if you're not a shimmery person this is not for you this is it by completely by itself i don't i don't have on any lip liner or anything like that the one thing um 
that I did notice about the this product is that it is best to put it on a smooth lip a well moisturized lip because it can go on a little spotty so the best thing to do is get your lip moisturizer chapstick uh, whatever you might use for your lips put it on your lips really rub it into the lips and then it's up then apply this and I guarantee you it's going to go on really really smooth and for it to be a lip gloss it does have a pretty long wear so that's a good thing about this product now I'm going to show you the next color that I'm going to try on so just stay tuned relax chill trust me I'm coming right back okay here is the next color I haven't put it on my lips yet because I said you know what I want you guys to see how it goes on the lip but here is the next color which is called champagne uh it's a champagne it's called champagne pearl and it's like a it's a metallic finish and it's like a champagne nude color and another thing I want to say about these um lip glosses that when they go on they have like a medium uh, color coverage if that makes sense so they're not really really sure but they're gonna give you a lot of color and since they are a uh, lip gloss you're really getting a lot of color okay now that I have it over the entire lip this is what it will look like now let me remind you it's gonna give you a lot of color. It's gonna give you that metallic finish, but I did not put a lip liner on it. So if I was to put a lip liner with it, trust me, it will completely tone it down a whole, whole lot. For these to be lip glosses, they do have a great amount of color coverage. I would say about a medium. Um, the only drawback about these products is that you will see a little, um, glitter around your mouth area but it will be very later on later on in the day and also let me say this the glitter is very 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 thin and very very uh finely milled within the lip glosses so let me say that as well now to be honest these can be worn by themselves but they are also meant to put on top of things so i don't want you to think that you have to wear it like this because you don't you can easily put on your regular uh let's say for me i have a nude lipstick that i really like by nars and if i wanted just to give it just um a little texture if I wanted to give it just a little glow and so it won't look so so nude and totally wash me out I will put a little of this on top and it'll just add a little shimmer and a little bit more dimension to your lips now the next one that I bought is from Becca yes Becca has a new line of uh, lip glosses out they have five colors and they are also $22 as well they have a very nice fragrance to them but they don't have as much color as the uh, bite beauty they are a little bit more um, translucent a little bit thinner and you will be able to get some color from them but you will also still be able to see your natural lip color underneath so I'm going to try that one on next here is the next color and this is by Becca and I have it right now on my lips and as you can see it gives you a really nice color but it's still very sheer and you can still see your lips underneath it here's a swatch of it and I'll kind of run it through again to make sure that you can uh, actually see it once again these are $22 the name of this color is champagne dream it's like a soft peach with a hint of rose gold so it's really 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 nice and like I said before there's no lip liner or anything uh, with it so this is also by Becca now really really quick I'm going to just show you how these toppers can actually work so I'm going to use the very first color I used by bite beauty and I'm also going to use a color by Ofra okay really quick I'm just going to use uh, my lip liner by NYX it is called a uh, club hopper okay and then I'm gonna take the um, this is a liquid uh, lipstick It's matte by Ofra I'm not sure of the color if I do get the color I will link it down below and before I even put the um, lip gloss 
on top of it I'm gonna kind of let it dry and why I let that dry is one more product that I want to talk about and it's from NYX as well and it's called the cosmic metals and these are really really cute I think they came in two colors this is just one of the colors that they came in and there are eyeshadows you get six colors and they were like 10.99 so you can order these online and one thing that I like about these that if you are looking for something different, if you always wear a matte eye, this will be great for you because this will kind of get you out of your comfort zone. Now the bad thing about this product is it is not a one and done eyeshadow palette. It's just not. These are really to be worn most likely on the uh, lid. And I'm just going to show you on your eyelid what they look like really quick. That's one color there's another color and there's another one I found out that with these eyeshadows because I have on one of the colors today I actually have on this one right in the center I've learned that these eyeshadows work best using your hand your fingertips another thing that I noticed they are great to go with other colors so you can actually put on an eyeshadow if you think oh I need this eyeshadow a little bit brighter oh I want this eyeshadow to pop a little bit more you can put these on top and it'll give that eyeshadow a whole nother look or make it pop some. These can be worn alone as well on top of others. So I thought this was a really, really cute um, palette. All right, now that the Ofra has kind of dried a little bit and it really didn't need that much time to dry, but just a few seconds, I'm going to use um, the Rose Pearl. And I just want you to see how it'll just totally change a matte lipstick. See that? Wow. Wow. It totally, it's the same color, but it adds a shine, it adds a pizzazz, it adds texture. I can see different colors when I turn my lips different ways. It's just really, really nice. So I kind of just wanted you to have an idea of how you can use these uh, lipsticks alone as well as pairing them with another lipstick color and kind of create your own little thing, your own little unique color. So I thought that would be really fun. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video make sure you give me the thumbs up make sure you tell your friends about my channel this is Tia Beauty Mark all the information that you would need and all the links to these products that I just talked about will be linked down below make sure you give me a thumbs up hey and if you're new to this channel you know you like to go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and tell a friend thank you so much for watching and you guys have a marvelous day